Hi everybody, hope you're all well today. Um, you're very welcome along to Zero Waste Hero Taste. Uh, guys, my name's Chris and I currently work with Chef John Comley in the Lake House Hotel in Port New. And John has asked me to come on here today and do a dish like everybody else has been doing. Uh, we're all in the same boat this weather lads, the times that are in it, we're all, we're all the ones. So everything's, uh, <laughs> everything's not the same as it is, but uh, what we're going to do for you here today is just a wee dish that I have been doing uh, for the past couple of years and I always love making it for breakfast. Uh, it's kind of the breakfast spin that I'm going to put on it. Uh, it's basically a frittata. Uh, it's part of the omelette family and you know it's basically a quiche, but basically without the quiche crust. But we're all going to do it uh, all together in the pan and uh, it's uh, very easy made people hear oh god i hear a quiche I, I don't know how to make that i don't know how to go about this so it's very very simple um very very easy to make and uh, i'm just going to show you my ingredients here now that we have so so here we are guys this is uh, the ingredients that i'm going to be using for the frittata today all very simple and it's all been in the fridge uh, very for myself very very handy to get so what I have here I was going to use uh, bacon didn't have bacon in so I did realize I have pancetta in there so I'm using pancetta uh, I'm using uh, some diced tomato as well using about maybe half a cup of diced onion as well uh, I'm going to use uh, some white pudding as well uh, normally people put in sausage meat uh, just out of the casing uh, into the pan didn't have any sausage in this morning well I thought I didn't anyway but I found some then but we have the pudding done and that's in so uh, we're going to use as well uh, some uh, cooked potato uh, that I had from last night that's going to go in as well and of course you need the mushroom the peppers and I found uh, some spinach leaves that I picked up during the week as well still fresh still lovely that'll go in nicely as well for uh, the sake of uh, time I've already cracked open the eggs I have six eggs in the bowl here uh, we're going to whisk those up and uh, we're going to add some milk uh, into it as well, maybe about a third of a cup of milk. Uh, the milk, basically, otherwise <laughs> it'll go flat on you completely. So we're going to add all these in. We're going to get the pan nice and warm here now. And we're going to bake all this together uh, in the oven, in the same pan. Uh, I'm going to preheat the gas uh, here right now, your gas oven, if you have it to gas mark 5, which is about uh, 180 to 190 degrees Celsius. Or if you're across the pond, it's about uh, 375 Fahrenheit. So we're going to get all this together here now and uh, we'll get cooking lads. Okay guys, you're welcome back here as we're about to get going here. Uh, I have the pan on to a medium heat here at the minute. We're not going to try and burn anything. So uh, what uh, we're going to do first is I'm going to use a bit of oil here. But uh, if you have oil, use oil. I'm using Freylight. It's a great one cal spray. Very handy, great for a non-stick pan. So I use that myself. So what we're going to do first, in with the onions. Onions are going straight in. Onions are in, and uh, yeah, had to go get the spatula. Nearly had everything right, lads. So the onions are in there, they're going to go at low heat there at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do as well is just season the pan a little bit as well, with the onions in, using sea salt. Uh, just a little taste of that there to your own seasoning, of course, at all times. Uh, I'm also using a little bit of cracked black pepper, if you have it, very good. So that there is all in. What I'm going to use as well is a little hint uh, of parsley, dried parsley, basically just for a little bit of colour. I like the taste of it. And uh, the tiniest bit of mixed herb. You get them very, very cheap, guys, and it's a lovely little taste of it. That's just to my own taste, and if you don't like those things, don't put them in, you don't have to. Now the onions are in, they're cooking away nicely. Cooking away grand. Uh, a lot of people, as I was saying there, just a lot of people, they hear quiche, they hear things like that there, they don't know how to make it, um, they think it's too hard to make things like that. It's really, really simple once you get the hang of it. Really, really simple. Uh, you think just uh, the amount of different ingredients is in there, how to do them. Uh, it's really, really great, so it's been great learning uh, off of uh, Chef John and Chef Benji as well when we worked together for the past couple of years and uh, the different things that I've learned myself a lot different I'll tell you it's, uh, it's been uh, a real privilege working with them and learning from them so we're going to add in as well here now uh, you want to make sure your meat's cooked uh, kind of thoroughly as well like that. so the onions are just coming up a little bit brown so I'm going to add in the pancetta here at the minute very, very easy got uh, all these uh, things guys, little Aldi super value, uh, the Copen Dunlow, 
not expensive at all. So very, very handy got. So we're gonna add all that in there now. That is the pancetta and the onion and the onions. I do like a crispy kind of onion myself, but for uh, for this sake it's gonna be baking for a little while in the oven as well. The oven is on gas mark five as well, as I just said. So this is something as I say guys, I would be making a lot of the time. That's uh, very, very full in, uh, for the breakfast, very full in meal, set you up rightly for the day. So we have that there in as well, as you can see. And the pancetta cooks very, very quickly as well. So that's why we're not, I'm not using too much of a high heat here either. Everything's getting in there. And it's just, I like doing things just one at a time here, show you how it's cooking cooking down rather than just okay everything into the pan at the one time and we'll hope for the best so not a hope but uh, we're going to keep going here as well as you can see the pancetta is starting to brown a little bit as well there already smells great in here <laughs> so what I'm going to add in now to make sure as well that it's cooked as well is the uh, white pudding and a lot of it I have looked at a lot of recipes uh, for this as well and as I said the sausage casing your sausage meat can be used in this as well if you don't have way pudding in I'm putting it in because I put it in normally for breakfast uh, who doesn't love a little bit of white, white or black pudding now you can put in black pudding as well but I uh, I had just uh, white pudding here handy so that is it and there that's cooking right away so with three ingredients in there again so far. Cooking away nicely. I'm going to give it another wee spray of that on spray, that wee kick. Again, if you have olive oil, it'll be grand. So, that is that all mixing up nicely. It's cooking away very fast, even though we're on a low heat. Medium, medium kind of heat, you don't want to, as I say, you don't want to burn everything and I definitely don't want to burn anything today because I'll hear about it for long enough there we go guys now that is just coming up nice and brown guys so I'm just going to add in now the mushroom mushroom I like making sure me mushroom is cooked cooked through now as you can see, it looks like the pan's getting a little bit overcrowded at the minute. Don't worry about it, it's really not. But we have another, only another three ingredients to put in before the egg and uh, milk mix go in together. So we are just put the mushrooms in there now. As I said, they're forced onions, the pancetta, the white pudding, and the onions. The uh, onions, pancetta, white pudding, and the mushroom all in together and just season to your liking as much as you like but uh, that's one thing uh, uh, we, we were always told and uh, I always hear my ears burning uh, when uh, we're, we're talking about uh, seasoning I always remember uh, Chef Benji there always getting on to me uh, you can always uh, season one way you can always add but you can never take away so don't worry that always stuck with me so so that's the mushrooms on there now Now guys, the mushrooms are just coming along very nicely here. And along with the mixture here, I'm going to add in now the potato. Potato we had from last night. Bag of them baby potatoes you can get very easily, guys, in uh, any of the stores there. Very, very handy. They're not, they're not even a euro, I don't think. That's going to go in with that. And now I'm also just going to add in the peppers too. So we have everything cooking. I'm going to mix these all up. I'm going to give them another couple of minutes here until everything's just cooked. 
right about through before we put her into the oven. Now these potatoes were cooked as I said from last night so it's not going to take a lot of time for just a little bit of, little bit of heat to get into them. And the peppers, peppers will cook pretty quick too. Now as you can see everything's starting to mix together there as well. So we're not too far off as long as uh, we have everything just about ready together. And trust me, I've made this, I don't know how many times it is in the past, so as you, you, pr you probably see again that it, it probably looks a bit crowded really when you're cutting through it when it's all nice and fluffed up inside and tell you it's, it's, it's a really tasty feed. Really tasty feed. Uh, never made this now in, uh, in, in the hotels, but uh, we're, we might put it on as a, <laughs> as a breakfast, you never know, see what kind of success we get out of it. So. Now I'm also going to add in the spinach leaves at this time as well. I'm going to let a little bit of steam get up from the pan, a little bit of heat up from the pan. As that all goes in, I'm going to I'll leave the tomato just yet before we go on tomatoes, but I'm not going to take that long to cook and it's going to cook mainly in the oven. There's not a lot of cooking in the tomatoes at all. So we have all this in the oven together. Coming nicely, we'll just wait until the spinach absorbs the juices and the heat of the pan here. And trust me, there's a lot of colour going on here. There's a lot of good flavour going on there as well. Now as well, there's another little bit of seasoning you can add that I was um, seeing on a few different recipes. I'm not going to use it myself, I have it here myself, but I'm not going to use it. It's a little bit of thyme as well. And um, a little bit of coriander if you have it. Uh, I've seen on a few different recipes now. This is going between quiche and uh, the frittata, which they're pretty much the same uh, kind of mixtures, guys. But uh, I do have a little bit of coriander and it's in my head now, so... A little bit of dry coriander, maybe not even, I might just put in half a tablespoon, just to be sure. Just for the taste, who doesn't love it? A little bit of coriander, I definitely love it. I do like my herbs and spices. So, a little bit of uh, dry coriander that I have here. Got in Super Value, I think, or one of the stores now. Um, Great, so it adds that little bit of colour, adds that little bit of taste. Again, if you don't like it, you don't have to put it in. as my own taste as well, so we're, uh, we're not going by the book, of course, guys. So. so that there is pretty well well cooked through at this time. So I'm going to make sure it's all flattened out here. But we have everything well cooked in, you can see. Spinach is taken in, and the potatoes are, we even we taste yet, they're hot right away. So, as you can see, that is what she's looking like at the moment. It looks a lot chunky, it looks like there's a lot going on there, but don't worry, it's going to be very, very tasty, very, very filling feed. So, there we go. I'm just going to throw in the chopped tomato here as well, again. A little bit of tomato always goes nice with the breakfast. And we're going to put that all in. It's not going to take too long for that to get warmed up and cooked either. And again, all this is going to be cooking while it's in the mix in the oven as well. So we're going to see what that turns out like now very, very shortly. The oven is up to heat. And we have all this mixture together here now. And I've just whisked my eggs here and added the milk. And it's just about ready to go on. So, I'm going to add all this in now, guys. Make sure my temperature is right here on the oven, which it is. And as you can see,
Now, and just basically guys, the way it is, perfect, all your colours are showing there, so, your mixture, over the pan, over the veg, over the potato, and all in together, right on in. And you'll have that little bit on top, which will be even looking nicer when it comes out. Just going to let that sit there as so for the moment. Then get a little bit of heat in the bottom. And now, just as that's heating them, we're going to do a little tidy up here. And we're going to see how this is going to turn out. I'm going to put this into the oven here now, as I said, on gas mark 5 or between 180 and 190 degrees Celsius. For, I'm going to try it for about 10 minutes, uh, probably will take a little bit longer, probably about, around about the 15 minute mark. You want it cooked thoroughly right through and uh, that's what we're going to check it now in about 10-15 minutes. We'll check it at 10 and then we'll have a go at about 15, so we'll have a look at, the, look at it then guys, alright? Okay guys, you're welcome back to the final part here now. And I'm just, I am literally, oh yes, taking this out of the oven here. And it's come out, it's come out pretty looking alright, if I do say so myself, guys. I'll just take it right up to you here. Hope you have a little bit of light. There we go. All sealed and cooked in. As you can see, it's nice and hard at the top. If it's not feeling too good at the top, soft or anything like that, put it back in for another 15 or another five minutes, sorry, it's been in for 15. So I'm just gonna pop that out of the pan. No one has worked for me every time. No one may not now when I'm on camera, but sure, let's see what happens. Voila. Now, as we can see, it's cooked well through, right around. And you have a nice bottom there. It's not burnt or nothing like that. It's just nicely coloured. Do a wee cut on that and uh, shape it up for the breakfast. Because it is breakfast time here, guys. Slice, as you can see, it's cutting nice and grand. All right, and there we go. Putting this just onto a plate here at the side. You can see everything coming out, everything's in there nice and packed, nicely cooked all the way through. And that is that, and you can serve that up, guys, just onto the plate. Uh, just uh, serving it up, serving it up onto the plate, and uh, there we go. A little bit of toast with that, a little bit of beans. Why not? Nice and handy, guys. Just like that. The thickness is there, and you've got so much left over. That's just one slice taken out of it, and it's a bit, it can get a bit messy at times, but it's all good. So that is just me, guys, uh, on the the frittata. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed uh, the um, the video. And uh, basically that is it, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, nice and simple, nice and easy. And uh, hope to see you again uh, all real soon. I might do another one of these. Uh, if we don't see you by then, I hope to see you all back at the lake house in Port New and Donegal with myself and John. And uh, all the best, hey guys. And uh, that's a wee bite from the burger. Good luck.